Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this video we will learn about that how we can receive the chat message or we can receive the message from the socket IO server. Alright, in the last video we will just uh, look out that what is the web socket, what is the socket and how it's actually work and how we can handle the request and all. Alright, so if you just want to go through with this video, link is given in the description box. So let's check what we are going to uh, do in this video. So first of all we will install the package for uh, socket.io then we will connect the socket.io with the server and uh, then we will get the message and we will show it on the screen and test it all right so obviously we will have we uh, we will receive the message then we have to send the sms message also from the somewhere from this screen we will send the sms for now but in this video you don't need to care about this part because in the next video we will create that how we can send the message also but from the easy way first step according to me is that receive the message then send the message all right so we will send the message from here and we will receive the message here and handle it all right so now let's uh, go the command line and just write here uh, and install socket.io client and just start to install it will just hardly take the 20 to 30 seconds and within that time uh, this is our screen here we will connect the socket.io and here we have to write the code all right and our server uh, port is also the same which is the local host 5000 all right so because uh, for the connect the to the node server or the tcp server which uh, the socket we have to also know uh, we must have to know the port all right so this is installed here so now i am just going to import the socket IO client from socket IO client All right so now let's make a const here or uh, just take const with the name of socket and um, let's use this socket IO as an function and let's pass the port from where our server is actually working that's fine now let's try to make it uh, console.warn and let's check what will become in the socket and it will just tell that our ser server is actually working or not for the chatting right here you can see that we got the IO and JSON and IDs and receive buffer send buffer and everything that means uh, our server is connected now right so the next thing is just make a constructor here and in the constructor let's call a super first of all okay and now let's take this dot state in the state first i'm just going to take a state with the name of connect connected is much fine and by default connected is false so after that uh, let's make a ui that it will tell that our message is received or not for that let's take a div here and here I am just going to check if this dot state dot connect is connected is done then we will receive the message inside this div alright so I will just make a small change here just after to write some more code because I just want to show that that how we have to handle the HTML with the socket and why we have to handle it also right and uh, else we can just simply write here a div and in this div you can just simply write here uh, waiting for connection right so by default you will see that uh, we are waiting for the connection we can just zoom it out right okay so here you can see that waiting for connection because by default this is false so now let's uh, take here uh, make one more function with the component um, component did mount and here we will have a write at the actual code so just write here socket uh, dot on all right and this is our event which is the new underscore message all right and if new underscore message will receive 
then we have a callback function and in this callback function first of all I am just going to console.warn here and uh, chat message is I am just going to write here comma data and we will see that but we are just going to receive here right so by default there is uh, nothing here so whenever I am just going to type here like my name is Peter I just change the name here with the Peter and if I just send a message from here like uh, hello everyone all right I, I will just send the message after a few moments but first of all I just ma want to uh, break it in the two part so that uh, you can just watch it very clearly all right so whenever I am just going to send a message from here then you can see that in the chat message we just get here uh, hello everyone from the Peter right fine so we got the message now we just have to handle it so for that I am just going to set it inside the state and uh, for that let's make one more state with the name of message so let's take this msg and by default it can be like blank that's perfect and if I just receive the data I can just write here uh, this dot set state All right. and in the set state uh, we just have to set the two state one is connected it true because now our connection is fine and the second thing is msg and in the msg I can just simply write here mm, data dot message alright so now let's see the output for now so if I'm just going to send it a message from here again uh, like hello web uh -uh. then you can see that uh, we got to see the message but actually we did not print here so that actually I have to just print here also so just write here this dot state dot message mm. and now let's send once again because screen is just refreshing so I did not handle the uh, local stories also so now you can see that hello message is here and now how are you but you will see a strange thing here that or previous message message is actually removed from here and that we get the new message if I just put here hi then previous message will be removed then how we can just get the previous message also alright so for that what actually we have to do uh, in the message state we can just write here like this mm, this dot state dot msg plus and let's make some space between them and now let's try right so just send it hi again and uh, it's undefined I will just handle it hello then you will see that uh, mm -mm -mm. okay so I have to write here msg Okay, so just write here hi hello now you can see that how are you our previous message is there but they are just showing in the one line that how we can show them in the next line for that what actually we have to do we just have to put here some HTML tag so that uh, we can just print in the uh, next line also right so um, for that I just want to simply write here Mm -mm -mm -mm. like uh, let's make a HTML template here like p tag and uh, here I can just write here dollar right and just start the bracket here we can just write here data dot message and 
and uh, here we can just simply close the p tag perfect so but now it will actually not going to show because uh, by default it will just show the uh, p tag here directly so let's hi then it will just show you the p tag for that we just have to convert the uh, string to html conversion all right so i am just going to write here uh, some important thing first of all just close this tag here and we can just uh, remove it and just simply write here uh, dangerous uh, set style html right and just make it uh, double curly brackets just write here HTML and now you can just set right like this dot state dot msg and now let's try once again it uh, hi hello oh nice how are you now we are just coding getting it in every in the next line right so now uh, we are just able to show the message but let's show the username also so for that uh, we just have to make a small change a very small change here right so just, uh, just write simply like this and just start a b tag from here uh, because we just want to show it a little bit bold Mm -mm. minus p and here we can just write here user name and uh, here we can just also write here colon if we just want let's try once again I'm just going to refresh it and uh, let's make my name is Adam and just write hi Peter now you can see the Peter just sending that hi Adam how are you is chat working fine okay so I actually just send the blank message here then it will just show you like this okay uh, is chat working fine if I just send it then I just got the message again right so I can just send it the as much as message I just want right and it will automatically scroll also right so this is the way that how we can just receive the message and all uh, here you can see that so if you still have any kind of query question any doubt then you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video